Pittsburgh's fearless females have played a major role in changing history. From trailblazing leaders to unsung heroes, Pittsburgh's past is now coming head to head with its powerful present. Too often their monumental stories go overlooked, but the Heinz History Center is flipping the script for Women's History Month. They're honoring the ladies who shaped Pittsburgh in an immersive and revelatory way. A brand new exhibit is highlighting the women who helped make the world a better place. And Katie is live there now to show us around. Hey, Kate. Good morning and welcome to the Heinz History Center. I got to tell you, there is a lot of girl power in this museum today and moving forward through October. I'm joined by Leslie Sibilic. She is the senior curator here at the museum. Leslie, this is this. Please tell us everything about a woman's place. It's not what you think, right? Typically when it, you hear a woman's place. Exactly. Um, welcome to the Heinz History Center this morning. We are so pleased to have you here. Yes, we are celebrating a new exhibition and we are excited to feature stories that are familiar, some that are unfamiliar, that really look at the many different ways that Western Pennsylvania women shape the history of this region, the nation, and in some cases, the world. Right, being from Pittsburgh, we always hear about the captains of industry and the, Coal and the founding and fathers iron. of the city, mm -hmm. and somehow the women involved have always sort of fallen through the cracks, they, but no more. They've been overlooked a little bit, and so now, as we say, we're flipping the script and we're looking at some of these stories from a different perspective, and we're hoping to give you some of the famous names that you would expect to see in a women's history exhibition here. And then also some new stories. We hope people will discover something new. One Starting of the with... great artifacts, we, we have 350 some items from our own collection, but some wonderful loans as well. This is connected with the story of Nellie Bly, who I'm hoping that many of you yes. have heard of. Nellie Bly, the famous girl reporter at the time. They called them stunt girl reporters at the time. This is the bag that she took with her this on her so amazing wild. 1889, 1890, um, 1889 trip around the world. This you know, is her travel bag. This is what she, she traveled around the world with. This she teeny said, tiny bag. I, can't I can follow the model of Jules Verne's Around the World in 80 Days. I can beat the book's record. And her editors said, oh, no, you can't. You know, you'll have to take too much luggage. You'll have to have a man escort you. But she did it. She did it in 72 days, um, wow. really setting the standard for what women could do. And she was, of course, one of many wonderful figures here in Pittsburgh in the press and media. And some other signature sort we, of Pittsburgh figures, we right? We have some, because of the way we were working on this project, we have some wonderful new collections that came here partially because of the, the preparation behind this exhibit. You might see some familiar figures in this case. Um, <laughs> I don't know, Oscar the Grouch, yes, Mr. Snuffleupagus. Snuffy. Those are pieces that were from the collection of an African-American illustrator, Peggy Owen Skillen, from this area. She graduated from Carnegie Tech. She was wow. one of the early illustrators on Sesame Street. So she helped kind of help create, create those and iconic standardized images. characters like Mr. Snuffleupagus. And speaking of icons. We have to give a nod out. Marie Torrey was one of Pittsburgh's first women news anchors when she came to Pittsburgh on KDKA. to KDKA in yes. the news desk in 1962. We are quite proud. Okay, so now there are some themes happening here throughout the exhibit. There are. Right? It, the project is a combination of an illustrated timeline at the beginning and then six themes we're looking at press and media, the impact of war, women's work, sports, and community organizations, and then the impact of arts, both performing arts and visual arts and arts advocacy. Um, I'll tell you, one of the figures who, of course, we also look at here, and maybe she is the most famous this, woman, this is individual the, woman from Pittsburgh. Arguably the most iconic female in Pittsburgh. That Pittsburgh. great woman on the We Can Do It poster. Yes. Comes out of Westinghouse in World War II. We now kind of think of her as Rosie the Riveter. All the yes. time, she didn't have that name yet. But she is now, she has come to like symbolize this sense of women's empowerment. And for us in the History Museum, it's kind of interesting to chart how that happened. Because in World War II, Women were encouraged to go into the factories. They did a remarkable job. And then they were kind of expected to go home after the war. But as time has gone on, you know, she has become this wonderful figure of women's empowerment. And we kind of end this section of the exhibit looking at how that legacy has carried forward with a group like the Girls of Steel yes. robotic team. Here at CMU, they picked this as their mascot. 
This is an example of their costume. They wear plaid shirts. They screen their robot, and they wear kind of polka-dotted scarves on their heads. Just a wonderful example of that a living legacy in modern yes, Pittsburgh. Yes, the way modern Pittsburghers are embracing and following in the footsteps of the women who paved the way before them. Leslie, thank you so much. We just took a snippet of this exhibit. There are so much to see here, so many historic women, so many things to learn. I mean, I'm a proud Pittsburgher, Heather and David, and I feel like I know just the slightest bit about the things that are happening here. So it is a wonderful exhibit. It'll be on display here at the Heinz History Center through October. Katie, Fantastic. October yeah, you can't see it, Katie, but but Heather has her Rosie the Riveter pose right now. It's rolling Showing the off world her over here. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. No, but what a great exhibit. It's like, it's like make it a great day, Pittsburgh, except it's different. Sense. Right. <laughs> a little bit different, yeah. Thank you, Katie, really. really and, cool. it, and it's neat that they're like current young women who are being focused on and yeah. also like people like Marie Torrey. So neat. It's Love really that. cool to see. Well, A Woman's Place, How Women Shape Pittsburgh will be on exhibit through October 6th. The Heinz History Center has a ton of other programs and exhibits lined up in the coming months as well. We've got the calendar events on our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com.